so as a as a father what what do you think the the main challenges are for young men in this uh this generation so i you know how old is your oldest kid out of curiosity so my 17 oh no 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 my oldest daughter is 25 <laughs> okay okay yeah. right, i forgot your i didn't do the math earlier so <laughs> yeah well, i started a little early but no my my oldest daughter is 25 and then my two my two oldest sons are 21 and 19 and um so in regards to being men in this day and age you know i i I kind of feel, not in a very boohoo way, but I feel like over the last 10 or 15, eh, maybe last 10 years real strong, especially the last five or six years, like just masculinity and being a man has really been on the attack, you know? Mm -hmm. Meaning everything a little boy does, like all I ever do is watch them empower little girls, right? Girl power this and girl power that and girls this and girl. And here's the thing, I have three daughters. I love them to death. And I promise you, all those little girls have an impacted ass full of pride. Those little mm -hmm. girls are as confident as you can get. And so it's like, I'm kind of sick of hearing this shit already. Like, my daughters lack no confidence at all. I promise you that. You know, they do yeah. not feel oppressed. And they own the world they go out into. But then I look at my sons, and they're not boo-hoo. But it's like, everything around them is negative. You know, if you do this, it's toxic masculinity. If you're explaining, it's mansplaining. If you... Uh, if you try to talk to a girl too much, that's uh, harassing. I'm like, I, I feel bad for them in a way, you know? But I, yeah. I tell my sons, I'm like, look, uh, in this day and age, the biggest thing is, you know, just be smart with what comes out of your mouth when you go to say it, because unfortunately, you never know who's listening, and, you know, you never know who's watching, and it, 